Hi, I'm Chris Augurino, and I'm with Cisco DevNet. I'm here with Ulrika de Fort Menares from Live Action. Hi, Ulrika. Hey, Chris. How are you doing today? Very good, thank you. So, Ulrika, I understand you guys are out there solving some modern problems for our customers. Can you tell us a little bit about what that problem is? So with digital economy, there are a lot of changes going on in your infrastructure. You want to be able to make that transition without introducing a lot of uh, additional complexity in your environment. Okay, and so what is it that Live Action actually brings to the table that helps us solve those problems? LiveNX is our network visual analytics platform. We gather a lot of data in the network and try to make some sense out of it, and we do it in such a way that we would recreate the mental model of a network engineer to help them solve the most difficult problems. At the same time, it's intuitive enough such that network operation folks can make some sense out of it without being network experts. Oh, and I understand you guys have had some, su or some, some success out there. Can you give us an example of some success out there with this? Sure, at Last Cisco Live in uh, Las Vegas, one of our customers, Huntington Bank, they were rolling out 125 sites. And because of the improved visibility, they were able to roll out additional 825 sites, and they completed that rollout 50% uh, ahead of schedule. Oh, that sounds really awesome. So we have a pretty technical audience here, and what I'm wondering is, can you describe for them maybe what all the big parts are here to connect like the, the thing the operators see with maybe the underlying infrastructure and some of the APIs, things like that? Yeah, so let me start by uh, saying that we have a multi-level integration with APIC EM. So APIC EM uses our API to retrieve data from our backend data store so that they can populate their application dashboard. In turn, we use APIC EM API such that we can learn about the network, the infantry, um, the network device uh, metadata so that we can actually pro provide with some very detailed um, topology. And from there, you can start to you know, visualize all your various traffic in your environment. You know, for maybe by and large, you want to load balance your traffic. But for critical traffic, you, are more, you may want to send them down your uh, MPLS path because they are you know, delay sensitive. Um, you know, at the same time, you know, you can actually look at, use our site-to-site -site analysis to visualize how all the traffic are interacting among all the different, um, among all the different sites, and you can spot why one of the sites has more traffic and do deeper analysis. You can look at what applications, the corresponding DSCP value, as well as, um, you know, what's, which service provider links is going out on. You can even sit back and watch how the traffic are going in and out, you know, from your environment. That sounds very interesting. So I understand DevNet may have helped you guys get up to speed a little bit here. Yes. How did that go? Oh, great. Uh, what I love about uh, most about it is the online, the Swagger documentation, because I can actually make the API call myself and retrieve all the information before I even got the engineering involved. That way it really streamlined our development process. Well, that sounds really exciting. Well, I would like to invite you as we roll uh, the last couple seconds of this video to go to liveaction.com and you can actually download a trial version of their software. And if you want to know more about the APIs we've talked about, come on over to developer.cisco.com and visit Cisco DevNet.